Welcome back everybody. This morning I'm gonna catch fish. That's what I'm gonna do. So before I catch fish, I wanted to give a shout out to Scott Farrar. Thank you, I appreciate you, man. All right. So yeah, I'm down on this boat ramp and I'm gonna try and do a multi-species thing today. I've got two catfish rods. I got that big mullet with me that jumped on the boat the other day. And I brought down my ultralight. It's kind of popping off already out here. I got down here a little late. It is just around sunrise. The sun's about to pop up over the hill in just a few minutes. So we're good to go. We're gonna fish this eddy here with big baits, you know, cause it's a big mullet. So we're gonna have big pieces out there. And this is a special day because we're gonna use the bike as a rod holder. I haven't done that in a while, but I have done it. So hopefully nothing pulls the bike in because I need that bike right now. If you're one of the newcomers to my channel that recently subscribed, this is the Mississippi River and this is a boat ramp here in Natchez, Mississippi where I've been fishing a lot because a lot of times it's pretty good. A lot of white bass coming through here recently and especially this morning I've seen some pops already. But there's other things, there's been flatheads and catfish in this area. Looky here, check it out. What you reckon? Think they get any bigger than that? That is a big mullet. All right, let's cut her up, put her out there. Here we go, here's one of my prepared chunks. As you can see, I took the uh, gut pocket off, but I saved it because this is such a big mullet, the gut pocket could be used if need be later. Both rigs are the same. Three ounce lead right now, though I did bring some fours just in case. Sinker slide, bead, barrel swivel, 50 pound mono is my leader. And I've got it surgeon looped and cow hitched to my swivel. And then today we're gonna use eight aught circle hooks by Team Catfish because we're using such big baits. So what we're gonna do is here at the top, we're gonna come in once. There we go. And then come out the second time make sure there's no scales off just like this all right so my first bait i'm gonna put on the outer edge of the eddy in one of these current seams they're all over the place but we're gonna go at an angle here towards the bridge see the white on the bridge there we're casting towards that but we're gonna probably do like a somewhere in between 40 and 50 feet from me. All right, hopefully that's not an instant snag. Next bait is gonna be more parallel with the bank here, but we're gonna try and have it about 40 feet off the bank. You see this, this pylon here and the point out there, we're gonna kind of roughly be in the middle. So you'll, you'll see what I mean. And I'm casting about the same distance from me as the first one. Well, I was a little more to the right than I wanted, but that's fine. Oh no. Instant snag. Dang it. One more time. Hopefully I don't lose it. That's where I want it. That's decent. Bike basket rod holders, what do you know? All right, I'm gonna start fishing for white bass. I'm gonna use this avocado chartreuse jig head. I wish I had road runners. That's what I would be using normally, but I don't have any right now. I need to go to the store. Oh. There we go. 
he's on. Look at him running this way. He's coming towards us. Oh, please don't be a log. I think it's a fish. Oh, look at that. It's definitely a fish. Could be a gar. Oh, he's putting some bend in this tide water. I was very, very skeptical about this particular placement of this bait out there in that seam because it's so snaggy here off this boat ramp when you're doing tight lining for catfish. I might be working him up over drop off or through the current because he's starting to not feel so big. He's not running like a gar, thankfully. I do have a I do have the ability to land a gar this morning. He's holding his head down. This might be a flatty. You could, you hope, right? You hope I got some kind of monster flatty. He's def, oh, he's definitely, definitely a good sized fish, whatever. Oh, did you see that body come up? Did you see that? Let me angle you down a little bit. Ho, ho. What do I got here? Look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this fish, man. Oh my God, look at this flatty. Look at this flatty. Oh. Woo. Look at the mouth on that sucker. All right, I did not bring the net this morning. We got this little thing. Am I filming? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, my God. I was on a boat the other day and didn't do that great. I mean, I did pretty, I did okay. I got two blues. My buddy caught a bunch of flats, flatties. He was calling them ops. Appaloosa, that's what we got here. Look at this, he's a big old ugly Appaloosa. Oh, I'm gonna stop jarring to you and get this fish up. Oh yes, we better get it done before we lose them, right? Hold on tight, Mr. Hood. Hold on tight. Yes, sir. That is a biggie. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Oh my goodness. That is a nice fish. This scale is just freaking out. What are you? It's fluctuating from 31 to 33. We're gonna call you a legitimate 32 pound fish. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Feel like Ric Flair this morning. Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! All right. It's going to be a little bit to resuscitate this fish. Yes, he's got it. He's got it made. Right. 
Woo! I'm not Ric Flair, by the way. I don't have the hair. We're caught in the middle of something here. Putting the chesty back on, and we got a, a line freaking out here. The, the other, other rod is going off. Boy, it's kind of like a gar bite. This is in shallower water. It hasn't brought the rod tip down. I'm just gonna... Maybe we got a fish here. We got us a fish. Maybe. Just something here. Oh, well, maybe he... He's not big. What do we got? Whoa! That is a channel cat on an ot eight. Man, greedy little sucker. You got hooked somehow on the outside. All right, buddy, let's let you go. I know we've only got two fish under the belt this morning, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it a good morning. What you reckon? There's our favorite bridge. So the action wasn't super heavy this morning, but I'm well, well, well pleased. Not the biggest flathead catfish I've ever caught in my life which would be in between 60 and 70 pounds, but definitely a PB for this area, for Natchez, Mississippi. The one before that, if you remember, was around 12 pounds. This one being 32, nice flathead for this area. Good, 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 good thing. Made the morning worth it. So this is a good time of year to target flatheads, even with cup bait, because we're coming into fall and they're getting ready for winter so they're feeding up like crazy whatever they can fit in their mouths fresh cut bait works best big baits with eight aught hooks will get you a bigger fish and they'll also produce a little channel cat as we saw earlier this morning so like share comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you next time